Alright people, welcome back. More card reviews. So you might have noticed there's actually two card reviews today to go ahead and make up for my mistake with Daily Duels. I decided to go ahead and go back, relook at Galaxy Eye Cyber Dragon, and talk about some of the things that I missed. Usually I wouldn't do that. Usually I'd be like, I talk about it, I miss a couple things, oh well, they're in the comments section below, move on. But I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and go back, uh, talk about any other things that I missed, and then move on. So... This is moving on. Moving on, we're getting back to our regular team. So we're looking at another X-Key Monster. They, uh, they've been pumping out a lot of new cards. they got a lot of cards to talk about. But uh, today I want to go ahead and talk about number 24, Dragon Nosferatu Dragulus. Alright, interesting name uh, for being the Dragon Nosferatu Dragulus. He's not even a, a dragon, so... Mm. He is a dark worm. Worm, you don't see too many of those. That's why they're making that uh, that new tie. They don't do too much with it. You think Worm, you of course think, you know, uh, Yang Zing. But outside of that, meh. No, yeah, so it's interesting to see a Worm. XC Effect Monster, rank 6. Alright. 2400 attack, 2800 defense. So 2400 attack is kind of low for uh, a rank 6. But 28, I mean, 28 booty. That's fine. Uh, generic, 2 level 6 monster. So. Uh, the, the, the rank 6 pool is kind of meh, you know, you got your M7, you got your Photon Strike Bouncer, you got your Salad Gauntlet Launcher guy, you know, you got a, you got a handful of cards, but it'd be nice, you know, especially since this card genetic, let's go ahead and see if you can go ahead and add them to a toolbox of rank 6s. So, let's go ahead and look at his effect, so, once per turn, during either player's turn, alright, quick, quickie, quickie. Uh, you can attach a key material from this card, then target one face-up monster on the field, uh-huh, that was special summon from the extra deck. Okay. Change it to face down defense position. Hmm, okay. So, uh, you still gotta deal with the monster though. That, that, that's the problem. That, that is definitely the problem. Uh, you're a Book of Moon. That's cool. So, don't need to push turn. My opponent has a monster special number from the extra deck. Detach, Book of Moon you. Sit down. You know, sit down before you even detach and mill at that Dante. Sit the fuck down. You know, so. That's not bad, but, you know. You know, I, ex I, I negged to go into succeed, and then I'm not even affecting your field. I'm just setting you down, like, eh. But it got another effect. Uh, if this face-up card you control, all right, leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. Okay, so if you hit me with, like, a Regeki, or even if you cast Stell Me, if I'm face-up on a field, and I leave the field because of my opponent's ca card effect, you know, if you want to want me, I'm gone. You know, I'm gone. <laughs> you know, I, I, I technically didn't leave the field. I kind of just became an exclusive material, but no. If you spin me back with Castell, hit me with Regeki, hit me with that rippling mirror force, storming mirror force, mirror force, whatever. You know, as long as I leave the field, you can special summon this card in face down defense position. Uh, so he comes, he pretty much comes back. So I have him, you cast tell him, I go back to extra deck, I activate my effect, I come back, I'm face down, I'm a 28 booty. So that's that's not terrible. Uh, and last effect, if this card is flipped face up, send one card on the field to the graveyard. This is not target, it sends the card so it doesn't even destroy. You could just go ahead and flip this up, send that dark destroy, you know. So I could have this, you summon dark destroyer, pop me, that's fine. Go back, to, I'm going to go to extra deck. I mean, I'm going to go to the graveyard, I was removed from the field by a card effect, come back, set myself, you attack me, I flip up, and this card flipped up, send a card on the field of the graveyard, send that dark destroyer, you're not destroyed, you don't get the float, you just send to the graveyard, and I don't even target you either. So, that's pretty power, that, that, mmm, that is power, I mean, of course, you can revive it to call Hunter's Oasis, but that is power. And you know what one of the best things is, and comes around full, for full circle, that first effect. Once we're doing a turn, attack a C material from this card, target one face-up monster on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck. Who was special summoned from the extra deck? That's a face-up extra deck monster. Mmm, himself. Change it to face-out possession. So you can pretty much go, detach, effect on myself, set myself, flip myself up, send that card. <laughs> like, that's pretty power, that's on your turn. That's pretty power. Or, you know, your opponent's doing something, uh, they try to come after you for an attack, you could just be like, oh, an attack decoration, detach the material, set myself. You attacking me? Flip myself back up. I'm flipped face up. Send a card. Card. Whether it be a back row, monster, field spell, pendulum scale, send a card on the field to the graveyard, non-targeting. Send it, not destroy it. This card is probably one of the best generic uh, rank 6 toolbox cards uh, that we've had yet. Like, it, you, If you're running rank 6, just play him because he, he will put in that work for you. Uh, the 28 booty is nice. Yeah, he works with himself. And he leaves the field, he goes ahead and sets himself. And when he foot face up, you get to go ahead and send one card on the field to get that, That's pretty power. That is pretty power. Like, this card is good. This card is good. There, There is no debate. There, this card is good. 
So, uh, yeah, so if I'm running anything that runs rank sixes, I'll, I'll be sure to keep them in mind, you know. You know, you're still there with, you know, M7, Photon Strike, Bouncer, but I think, I think you're, like, right, right around that level, that, around that area, you know. Go ahead and toss you in as a nice generic rank six, and whenever I do the plays, I will definitely consider you, because you, you will probably put in that work, you know, when I summon you. So tell me what you guys think about number 24, Dragon Nosferatu Dragulas in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this double car review. Of course, we'll be back next week. We'll review a ton of new cards. Like I said, we have so many new cards to look at. It's not even funny. That V-Jump just came out yesterday. And on top of the cards that I'm already a little bit behind on, we got some major cards that, of course, we have to talk about. So we will be sure to get to that. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, next week. Thanks for watching.